Welcome back to another re-re-review, and we're doing Scream 2022. Um, so, Scream 2022 is, uh, basically a reboot. And, uh, the series was dying after the TV series and Scream 4 and 3. And, um, they brought it back. Scream 5, or Scream 2022, is a... Great ass fucking reboot and Scream. It's up there with Scream 1. And the reason why I say it is because the characters were fucking great. I love Tara Carpenter. I love Sam. I thought those were. I thought those girls were a great duo. Um. You, you had no idea who the killers were. Um. Turns out it was Richie and Amber, which I thought that was, uh whole awesome fucking duo that they had going on. They tried, um, doing the Billy Loomis and Stu bullshit. Then Sam ends up stabbing the shit out of Billy. Um, then Courtney, um, Gail and, uh, Sydney come back. And, uh, they end up killing Amber by lighting her on fire. And then shooting her and shit. And they they had to kill off a good character. They had to kill off Dewey, which I hate. But then you got the other guy that gets the knife through the fucking um, neck. Um, the officer that hit on Dewey ended up getting killed. The one with the cock guy. I don't know her name. Don't remember her name, but um. But the one thing I hated is, um, well, there's nothing really much to hate about this movie. There's nothing really much to hate about this movie. No, there's not. Damn. This is a perfect movie, in my opinion. But Scream 6 will be the one where I explain a bunch of shit, but I love Jenna Ortega in this movie as Tara Carpenter. I love the... Melissa Barrera as Sam. The guy that played Clay Jensen in 13 Reasons Why. That's the guy who ends up getting a knife through the fucking neck. Dewey, obviously. I really did not care if Sydney came back either way. She's a good character and a good final girl, but... It's time to move on. Like, It's like uh, Laura Short and Michael Myers. 2018 was fine and Kills was fine, but ends... It's time to move on. Like, continue the legacy with new characters. That's all I care for. But, yeah, Scream 22 and 2 is a good fucking reboot. And, uh, this is the point where the franchise got re alive. And Ski Albridge came back to play uh, Billy, which is Sam's um, dad and Terrorist. But, yeah, that's about it. See you. See you.